we are installing a Barton shifter in this 2021 uh, Dodge 392 Challenger. Uh, Barton shifter is already installed. When we went to start installing the Barton shifter, we found these instructions that say to go to their website and you'll find a YouTube video on the install. The video on the install that they have is for 09 up to 2014. And the car is largely the same from 09 up to 2023, I think. But uh, there are some mild changes that were made in the instrument or in the center console and the way it attaches. So uh, I decided to make this video of the return trip going back together to show where the differences are in the center console. Uh, the Barton shifter seeks to replace this, which is the stock shifter assembly. We already have it installed right here. And now this plate needs to go down. This is a new uh, grommet to go around the plate. It's appropriately labeled front and rear. We'll uh, install that. The shifter install is the same no matter which way you're going and it doesn't it doesn't change what year it is. So this plate will install down the same on uh, 09 all the way up into the 20s and it's identical to what you see in the video on Barton's website for 09, 015, or for 09, 15, or 22. Oops. Grommets and the plates in. Nice. Now we can get our uh, our six ten millimeter nuts put on the plate. This all goes together pretty quick. It actually comes apart pretty quick too. nice okay so now that the plates on we can put our uh, insulator piece back on
again, all of these steps right here are exactly what is uh, in the instructions, and these don't change for 20, uh, no matter what year it is. Okay. Put the bar in. No, wait, we'll put the shift in the center console. Now I think we'll put the center console back in. Before the center console goes in, we have to replace the one AC duct that we took out, which connects here. Long form plugs in right here. AC duct. This is the 2021 center console. It's got some sharp corners to the plastic up front. So it's very important we move it slowly through the interior so we don't drag the, the sharp plastic corners across the leather. Nice, slow and careful movements and nothing gets hurt. And then this console slides in from the back. There's a couple of harnesses that need to be in the right place. And the console just goes in. And that's it. There's two Phillips head screws. And then there are two 10 millimeter, well, I guess they're eight millimeter bolts, but they got a 10 millimeter head on, which are the two bolts that hold the center console down. On the instructions and the video that comes on uh, this website, when you go there, that they link you to, they show them taking uh, four small bolts out of the pocket of the center console and in later years Dodge moved to this style where we have these little closeout caps right here and one of these little bolts and you got to put the seat in a very specific spot so that you can get to this place and get this bolt in and out on each side it's in the same place on both sides and it actually makes for an easier way with the older center console, you had to unplug each of the cigarette lighters and do all this and that, and, and you had all these extra hardware to take out. But in this year, there's only a couple of screws and a couple of main plugs, and it's, it's, it's actually streamlined for easier function. It's really cool. Install the Barton shifter. This shifter is really cool. It has uh, all these different adjustments on it, so you can really put this shifter handle exactly where you want it, which is really cool.
자. 
that's a tight shift. All right, so now the center console is in. We need to plug in a couple plugs, this big plug. This bezel gets one plug that goes into it right here. And then we push them. Oh, wait, wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. Tighten those two Phillips heads. Okay. Now we put this back in. Awesome. Now, shifter. That's it. Our computer's installed. We're all back together. Good as new. We still have a uh, one to four skip shift eliminator to install. We have a uh, clutch delay valve to pull out and we have some exhaust work to install. But for now, we're done with the Barton shifter install. Second shift performance.